The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter number 3, verse number 16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God, verse 17, may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. You know, I just recently found out that something that I had taught before as a Bible preacher, a Bible teacher, I found out that something I taught before was incorrect and I needed to tweak the way that I teach it uh, a little bit differently. And the Bible tells us that the, the scriptures are profitable for correction. And when, whenever you find out that you're wrong about something, one of two things can take place. Either you can let your pride get the better of you and you just remain stubborn and, and you defend your error without uh, allowing for the truth to prevail. Or you can humble yourself and admit, you know what, no one bats a thousand. And as we grow in the Lord, we find out that there are things that we thought that we had it all together. And then as you grow in the Lord, you find out that you didn't quite have it all together. And so uh, as I began to make the adjustments in my thinking and in uh, the way that I will be teaching it going forward, you know what? It's actually uh, not only a relief, but uh, I'm, I'm actually happy uh that the word of God has corrected me on something that I taught before that wasn't quite correct, accurate, 100%. But now that I know the truth about the matter, now I get to grow more. And, you know, uh, when you swallow your proud, pride and you humble yourself and just admit, you know what, I wasn't right, but going forward, I'm going to get it right. It's, it's not, it's a relief and not only that, it's a blessing because now that I have accepted that I was wrong about something, now I see certain things in the scriptures more clearly, more clear than the way I used to see things before. So if anything, now uh, I get to grow more in my understanding of the scriptures. That's spiritual growth. That's maturity. You see how pride can hold you back from growing the way that you should? But part of growing is learning. And when the Lord reveals to you certain things that you need to correct, making those corrections, making those adjustments. And so uh, let's learn to humble ourselves, swallow our pride, and let the scriptures correct us. It's not going to hurt us. It's only going to make us better. I now understand some things a lot more clear uh, than when I was uh, in error on something. And so praise the Lord for spiritual growth. Praise the Lord for maturity. That's a good thing. God bless you.